the final race of the day. This is Gary Ormsby. You talk about consistent performances. He has had it throughout the top fuel competition as Ormsby comes into this final to race against Gary Beck. In round number one, Ormsby had a 5.45 second elapsed time. In round two, a 5.49. In the semifinals, Ormsby fell off to a 5.56. That opened the door just a crack, enough to let Gary Beck come in with a 5.55 and pick up lane choice. Beck in the Miller American car takes the lane furthest from the camera. In the near lane is Ormsby. Based on performance, you have to say Ormsby is the favorite, but the lane choice here may make a difference. We saw just a few moments earlier as Don Prudhomme got into the shakes, the car drifted across the center line, that disqualified him. He still ran a 577, driving through the vibration, still trying to prove to the Budweiser King and Kenny Bernstein that he is most competitive. For Ormsby, though, he's got to be thinking about that. His crew chief, Lee Beard, one of the best in the business, as is the crew chief for Gary Beck, Bernie Federley. Two magnificent minds, two great drivers, and two outstanding machines, all matched here in the finals of this Winston World Finals for 1985. The burnout's just about finished. You can tell it's starting to get dark. You can begin to see the header flames. The darker it gets, the brighter and taller they seem to stand off the headers. For Ormsby, a final check of all the equipment as there's over 2,500 horsepower flashing away there. Across from him, the same for Gary Beck and his crew. All the effort by the crew is over at this moment, though. For the drivers, the sole responsibility is theirs. And it's a great start. Back out front by about a half a car length at this point. Can Ormsby come from behind? It is very close and an engine explosion for Ormsby. The parts go flying and Ormsby's engine, the supercharger, laid off to one side. A huge ball of flame. Gary Beck won the race and Gary Ormsby lost the war. Well, I'll tell you, that is one classic way to finish a drag race. As Gary Beck pulls ahead at the starting line, he holds on to that lead throughout. But Gary Ormsby did not give up. He stretched that engine to the limit. In fact, he stretched it so far that it exploded just as he crossed the finish line. There's the first flash of flame, and it explodes into a huge ball. There you can see the engine lets go, the parts going high in the air and bouncing off the pavement. Gary Beck, the winner, is ahead of him, but a disappointment for Gary Ormsby. Believe me, I'm real happy, real pleased for Larry Miner. It's been a long, hard season over here. Tremendous gang of people, Bernie Federley, Ed McCullough, Bill Walter that worked so hard, the people on my car and Larry's car and Ace's car. Tremendous season, really, to try to finish up with a win. And what a way to win it. Just a wheel-to-wheel -wheel duel. It was a good drag race. We knew it was going to be. Well, they didn't skunk you this season, Mr. Beck. <laughs> Thank you very much, Steve. It's nice to be here. Gary Beck with a smile on his face as the Miller American car of Larry Miner goes into the winner's circle, the top fuel champion at this World Finals for 1985. What a way.